what's up, y'all? It is your girl, Cherry Johnson. Welcome to season four of Cherry's World Podcast. Today, I want to introduce you to a product that I love and that I use. It is Bubba's Potty Protection. They are large disposable toilet seat covers. And not only are they toilet seat covers, but they stick to the toilet so they don't move. And if your kid touches them, you don't have to worry about them sliding back and forth or even yourself. Because as I get older, squatting is not as easy as it used to be. They're individually wrapped, they're liquid absorbing, and they are used for children and adults. And I have the owner and founder here of the Bubba's Potty Protection, Mr. Daryl, and he is gonna talk to us all about his company, entrepreneurship, and of course, where you can find this product. So stay tuned. Okay, sir. So I am a total fan of your product. I'm a mommy. Awesome. Not, not only am I a mommy, but I'm a user myself because I don't squat as easily as I used to when I was young. It's a little bit more difficult holding on to a kid who's always in the bathroom with me. And now I feel like I can sit down comfortably. So the first thing I want to do is say thank you. You're welcome. You're so welcome. I'm a fan of yours and just to hear you say that you're a fan of my product is truly a blessing i want to say that first and foremost but i can't take all the credit um this product was put together by my lovely family uh first off with my wife um so sorry she couldn't be with us today uh, she she's actually sleeping um i don't know i haven't told you yet but i wanted to wait but we are expecting coming october yeah, coming October, we we're going to make the family a little bit bigger. So she do apologize. She really wanted to be here, but are mommy you... got to get a rest. Mommy, <laughs> congratulations. You are baking a whole human being, baby. Get your things <laughs> on. And yes. I'm excited. Cheers. Well, podcast is having another baby. Are we having a boy or girl? So believe it or not, my wife want to go old school. She doesn't want to find out the sex. So yes. I'm, I'm just excited and I'm going to be waiting. And if it's a girl, <laughs> Cherry is a great name. I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> no, don't, name, don't name your baby Cherry. <laughs> it's a lot, especially through elementary school. Is it? It's a lot. <laughs> but I had to throw it out there. <laughs> we do. We definitely got a nickname for the baby. Um, it's Baby E for now. Until we figure out if it's a boy or girl, we'll reveal what the name is. I love it. Super duper. Congratulations. So Thank you. you are a daddy. Yes. Now I'm already a father. I have an older son. He's six years old, but he's about to be a big brother. So yeah, we're expecting baby number two now. And was this invented for big brother? It was actually. So uh, just to kind of give a little more background story behind it. Um, Going to the road of being an entrepreneur is very scary, um, but I had a great role model. My father, actually, um, back in 2003, uh, when I went to go live with him, I was around about 12, and uh, he started his own ministry. It was a nonprofit organization. It was rehabilitation for men, so it helped with drug abuse, alcohol abuse, and he really helped the men out by getting them off of that uh, drug abuse and alcohol abuse and then giving them actually work. So he provided um, community service to car wash, to landscaping. So I learned at a very young age how to work. So my father took me with him everywhere I went. And you know, just to speed it up and go a little bit more in depth, I said, Dad, one day I want to be like you. You know, I really want to do something to give back to everyone that's a product that can just really service the community. And say, Well, son, 
you can do it. You know, just you got to take your time and really, truly think of what you want to do. So me and my wife, fast forward into 2020, me and my wife was in a pandemic, just like everyone else, nervous. Uh, our son just graduated from daycare. Um, it was about to be his first year in kindergarten. It was like, what if he got to use the bathroom? I just don't want him touching the toilet. Right. And I said, yeah. I said, for most guys, we grab like a thousand sheets of paper and make it like a little pallet. <laughs> right. But who has time for that, right? So um, I came up with this invention as I was helping my son potty train. I said, wouldn't it be cool if we had a disposable toilet seat cover that is not only adhesive so it doesn't slide or move. So now my son doesn't have to worry about, you know, him sliding everywhere, but then also have a PE film that no liquid barrier or anything like that can pierce through the paper. And then my wife said, you know what, it'd be great if you could call it Bubba's. So his nickname is actually Bubba. She gave him that nickname at birth. And ever since then, I said, you know what? That's what it'll be. So we called it Bubba's Potty Protection. And we've been standing behind that strong name since 2020. Now I'm going into 2022. Uh, We've been on Amazon, uh, ranked 4.6 out of five stars with over hundreds of reviews. Uh, Servicing our community. We just did a Tampa Bay Expo. Um, Got to... Uh, service some of the people in the community. I got to uh, give our product to the mayor. She was a big fan of it (laughs) as she travels a lot. And we've just been, you know, giving back to our community, but at the same time, uh, you know, doing something that we really love to do. So my favorite thing, I have a little girl and she's seven, right? But I hated going to restaurants with her because she always has to go to the bathroom. So I used (laughs) to have this porta potty that I had in the car. Right. And she's a little bit too big for it now because it's one right. of those little collapsible ones. But now yeah. you have your product. I feel so comfortable because she's not really the size where she can squat at all. And no. she always wants to put her hands right on the toilet. But now because <laughs> it doesn't move when you put it down, right. like the liners that they have in the bathroom, I'm comfortable with letting her go ahead and hold on. And go. Mm-hmm. She's no longer like peeing on her clothes or my feet. So I really <laughs> I'm so happy you can appreciate that. And not only is it great for kids, it's great for adults too. So um, last January, me and my wife went on vacation. We went to Aruba and literally we went from New York uh, and then flew all the way down to Aruba. And the uh, flights, uh, obviously with their bathrooms is a little tight. But once I pulled this product out and then I slipped it on, I mean, it's very easy. It was a no brainer at that point. A lot of people on the plane was asking me, like, where did you get this from? Where where did this come from? And I was like, oh, it's my invention. I made it. And it was like, where can I get it? I was like, just go on Amazon. I promise I'll get it for you, but I'll give you a sample. And um, ever since then, I mean, adults love it. They tell me every day. They was like, man, I hope it's not too much TMI, but I love your product like a lot. I could actually sit on the toilet seat and relax. And I'm like, and that's fine. it's anywhere. Like, they stay in my purse. They stay in the car. You grab one before you walk in a restaurant. You grab one before you go in anywhere. And it's always with you. The airport. Yes. I, mean, I have one of those kids that always has to go to the bathroom. And I don't want her to. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm more comfortable. You just throw it in your purse. I'm going to actually demonstrate it. Like I'm not going to, I'm going to actually put it yeah. in stuff so they could see it and cut it in here. But literally Sean and I, uh, the guy who played Waldo, yes. we, went, we went on this little food excursion, right? Uh-huh. We was eating and drinking and stuff all day. I had to go to oh, the yeah. bathroom. So Sean was like, what are you doing? You were in the bathroom forever. I was like, I was comfortable, bro. <laughs> and I was comfortable because I had my bubbles in my purse. Exactly. <laughs> and so he thought it was the funniest thing in the world because he was like, I thought you was going to be in and out. And I was like, no, I wasn't. Uncomfortable. I was chilling. <laughs> oh, man. And believe it or not, I'm guilty of it because um, as uh, I did a little bit of study, history shows or statistics shows that most men sometimes spend even longer in the restroom because we're on that cell phone watching football or Facebook and we just sit there forever. <laughs> and my wife was like, what are you doing in there? And just on my phone scrolling. <laughs> just chilling. Even going to hotels, especially since COVID, like I'm one of those people who walk in and spray Lysol and I yes. really clean the room. 
but I am something that I'm just going to say it. My brothers call me shit shy. I'm mm-hmm. one of those people who not only will I not just shit out in public, mm-hmm. but I will only go to the bathroom in my bathroom once I get home. Right. And so at hotels, I'm known to hold it. Oh, wow. I travel yeah. a lot. So I would hold it for a long time with Bubba's. Right. I still go in and spray my little lights on and try to wipe up. But now I feel comfortable to sit down. Mm-hmm. And I don't have to hold it anymore. Awesome. That so is awesome. I know it sounds funny, but like you're helping my health. Yes. Yes, most definitely. And that's the number one goal. That's the reason. Um, these disposable toilet seat covers are hygienic. So they're making sure that even though we can't protect you from every germ and every bacteria in the restroom, we are helping prevent you from catching or transmitting any germs while sitting or using the public restrooms. Right. It is amazing. So I follow your page. I like, I'm a super duper fan. And I was awesome. watching earlier when it was like, do entrepreneurs get stressed? Yes. Yes. Um, I just posted that, believe it or not, it was on my mind. Um, cause I've been talking about mental health awareness all month and I'm like, you know what? A lot of people, never really know what I do on a day-to-day basis to run, you know, above us potty protection. And it can be stressful sometimes. So I feel like opening up and letting my followers know that, you know, do business owners get stressed? And yeah, we do very highly get stressed. Um, if it's one thing, it's another, right? Uh, to logistics, uh, to marketing, to, you know, just getting it out there and promoting the business. But for healthy uh, stress relieving tips uh, that I provided that works well with me. I love watching movies with my family. My son, he's a big Sonics fan. Uh, So Sonic came out, Sonic 2. He loves Knuckles and Tails and how they team up together. Um, Me and my wife are big anime geeks. We love anime. So when we see Marvel and all that other stuff, uh, it's just it's that moment where we kind of get away from reality and then we gravitate to being the good guys. So of course we're going to love when the good guys win and and it just uh, really uh, resonates with us. So then when we get back into the real world, we're like, yeah, we're going to be that superhero today. We're going to, you know, make sure our kids is ready for school. We're going to make sure ourselves is prepared, whether that's her cooking, cleaning, whether that's me making sure, you know, I pick up everything she needs um, from the to-do list that most husbands have. And, you know, it doesn't get speak on a lot, but, you know, a lot of great husbands are out there. You know, sometimes we don't get recognized for the amount of stress we go through, but it's okay to be stressed and it's okay to let people know. I think that's beautiful that you were talking about that. The lady that was on before me, we were actually just talking about the makeup of the Black family and how we need to come back together and unite. And what are some of the things that you think that Black women can do just to let Black men, like not our man per se, right. Black men in the masses know that we do appreciate you guys and we do love you. And there are wonderful Black men still out there. Um I was like, Countess, you know, Countess Vaughn who played. Yes. So it was her and I having the conversation. Oh, wow. And yes. <laughs> and I was like, Countess, we have to do something. So she's my cousin. But I was like, we have to cuz oh, come on. We got to get it together. Well, we have to put some campaign together so we can love on our black men. So um, believe it or not, I don't know if you ever heard of this book, but it's called uh, The Five Love Languages. And me and my wife was reading it together to kind of figure out each other's love language. And mine's was affirmation. So um, I'm not going to speak on every man, but I know a good majority of men love affirmation, Um, being told that we did a good job, right? So most guys love sports. So anytime they make a shot or they score a touchdown or they do anything, they get normally that celebratory pat on the back or a handshake from the coaches or from the teammates. And they keep seeking that, even from being, you know, Pop Warner to, you know, professionalism. Um, Most males do seek that affirmation. So that is a great first step of recognizing them for something that may be a day to day operation, like picking their kids up from school or daycare every day. Man, congratulations, man. I'm great that you're picking up your kids. That's 
a responsibility that you chose to take because some people may overlook the small things like, man, thanks for making sure we always have food in the house, you know, not starving, you know, just it's the little things. Yeah, it's the little things. And I know affirmation is it resonates hard for me because then it makes me go harder. So if my wife loves the way I cook that steak on the grill, guess what? I'm gonna make it 10 times better next time just to give her that smile. And that's beautiful. And we want to know how to do it without stepping on women's toes, too. Because yes. some women get very upset, like you compliment they man. I had a woman cuss me out on Instagram simply because I said, bruh. And I said, bruh. Yeah. Like, you look nice in a suit. Yeah. And, and she was mad. Don't tell my man <laughs> he looked nice. I was like, but he do. <laughs> and if and you I, had on a dress that was beautiful, I'd have told you too. Right. And, and I think um for us you know, as people, you know, we got to get over that notion that we're always targeting or trying to steal someone's, um, how can I put it, spouse or significant other, because if you're comfortable within your relationship with the person, you trust that person, you would know that person will put a stop to it if it gets anywhere beyond the scope of you look nice or you do this nice or, you know, the simple affirmation. So sometimes, and this can go both ways, not just the women, but men too. You know, sometimes there's some men who, you know, like, Hey man, I don't like you talking to my lady, but he could be just genuinely being nice and giving her a compliment. I'm saying you look really nice today. But I think as, um, as people who are in relationships or in committed relationships, you know, that's when you have to work more with yourself and more with your partner and then you will already have that trust and then you won't so, feel so offended when another person recognized the work that you put into him or her to have them shine better right. because of you helping them shine better. Because for me, you compliment mine, I'd be like, yeah, that's mine. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Thank you. <laughs> and I love that. So, okay, back to Bubba's party, right? Sure. You're a fairly new company. Yes. You were talking new. about your day to day and how stressful it is and marketing. A, yes. A lot of us don't have marketing experience, but marketing is everything. It's everything and more so. Um, you know, with Bubba's Potty, when I created it, um, I wanted to make sure it was good in quality, but I had enough uh, to service all right. So it's uh, individually wrapped and it comes 40 in a pack. So how could I market a product that really? isn't known to be in existence. A lot of people don't know that this product exists. So it's kind of like creating a path that really isn't a path there. So when I first took on that role, um, I had definitely had some head butts, you know, just one thing after another. When I first started, I think I posted an image that really didn't even relate to the product, right? I'm just trying to throw something out there to kind of do that spaghetti, see if it sticks on the wall kind of thing. And um, as time goes on, I got a little bit better, but I did hire a marketing team as well um, called Constant Contact. And they kind of educated me and sat me down a little bit on, hey, this is how we market. Try this for on for size. And I knew I had a great vision. I knew my target audience was moms after about a year. Mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? I really want to hit moms. Um, it didn't matter what race. Uh, it didn't matter anything like that. I just wanted to make sure the moms felt the love that, hey, this product right here can service you in so many ways, whether it's for you, whether it's for your little ones, or if you have a husband who works in construction and has to use a porta potty, mm -hmm. give him some and he can definitely use this. So um, now, uh, come 2022, now that I know who my target audience is, I'm a little bit better at marketing to those right people and the right individuals so they can see the value and the benefit of using Bubba's potty protection. I mean, these are amazing. So baby showers, this is like my favorite new baby shower gift. For yes. Yes. I highly recommend it. Um, I know I'm going to have plenty at my baby shower. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, uh, put this on your registry. Uh, I recommend it hands down, especially even if you don't want them to wait that long. If you just want to get it to them now. I mean, yeah, mommy can use it. 
Mommy can definitely use it. It's standard size. It fits all uh, traditional toilet seats. So you don't have to worry about it being too small or not fitting. It's going to fit perfectly fine. And you talked about your day-to-day, right? So what is your day-to-day like when you're managing and running a new company yourself? Awesome. I'm so happy you asked me that. So um, I wake up at 5 a.m. Um, I t- take my wife to work uh, to the VA. Um, that's where she works. She works for the government. And then I drop my son off at school around 730. So once I get those two off and about, um, that's when my day starts. Um, I go on Instagram. I go on Facebook. I go on LinkedIn. And then I try to put together a post that um, relates to the time of today, like for this month and this period. And then I try to see how can I intertwine it with my product? Um, because sometimes everybody doesn't like a hard sale. Sometimes you got to be a little more subtle, you know, talk about some of the things that's going on today or around the world, because sometimes as business owners, we can get a little self-absorbed and things that we like, but we need to kind of take a step back and say, okay, what are some of the matters or topics that people are talking about that matters to them? And then once we kind of dive into that notion, now we're actually selling a product without really thinking about it subconsciously because now people are like, you make a good point. Um, what's your name again? What you do? And then it just opens that gateway of flow and communication. And now you're building a beautiful relationship where it could be a potential customer for life. Oh, I'm I'm a customer for life. <laughs> and with me being a customer for life, I had to ask you because one of the things that I thought about one day is I walked in a restaurant. I didn't have your body protectors, but they uh-huh. had the little Tampax machine in there, right? Right. And I was like, yo, I need a Bubba's potty machine in the bathroom. I would have gave you my 25 cents or whatever yes. it was to, to pay for it. <laughs> Like, yes, is that something that you've thought about that might be in the works or I don't know how that works. But so, yeah, I have um, me and my advisors, um, which is also part of my day to day operation. So on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I have meetings with um, Miss Yolanda. Uh, she's part of the SBA, uh, which is Small Business Administration. Um, they've been tremendous help for me as um, far as uh, putting me in position with building a business plan. Uh, establishing business credit, um, making sure that um, the business is self-sustainable while also applying for grants to um, sustain the business itself. Because even though we, you know, hope that the product takes off on its own, sometimes we all need a little assistance. It will. Yep. (laughs) (laughs) And, and, you know, that's just where I'm so excited about. Um, I have so much support. I'm also a member of Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity Incorporated. Those uh, men there help me as well by uh, telling the community about what I do to my family with my mother, uh, Debbie, um, to my dad, Daryl Sr. Um, I am junior and my son is the third. Uh, to my grandparents and to all my friends, um, Juwan and Erica. A lot of these names, I know you don't know, but um, these are a lot of people. Uh, I just want to say to them, they they made a difference um, by assisting me and getting me uh, to this point. And uh, just know it's just the beginning. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm so, so you have a team. Yes. So my team is um, very strong. Um, very close knit. Uh, like I said, with my SBA team uh, to helping me with my day to day operations, like I said, I meet with them every Tuesday to Wednesday to my constant contact team when I market with them on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And then it literally goes nonstop until about I want to say about four. Then that's when I go meet my son for Taekwondo practice. And then I got to take care of him and then uh, make sure my wife is straight, take care of her. Um, And then once they're all in bed, um, I'm probably up eight, nine, 10 o'clock at night thinking about the next thing I'm going to do with Bubba's, whether it's marketing, um, whether it's what's another idea to um, get it more out there, like for example, like you said, put it in the restrooms, put a quarter in there and um, just giving that extra push, that extra nudge. Um, we are trying to get more on the platforms like Spectrum and on TV to create more uh, commercials for the product. Um, but we will be out there real soon. 
product placement. So my director and producer friends who uh, are always looking for merchandise to put in films, please hit me up. Yeah. If you can't find my boy, I'll make yes. sure I put all his information, but we need some product placement. Yes. <laughs> and I said, oh, when you said meet your son, my daughter does Taekwondo. She is, really? Yes. She got her little champions black belt and now she is working. She is her orange belt. Oh, wow! Yes. The next little black belt. I love so it. So she's loving it now. I bet. I'm gonna assume oh, yeah. she loves. Yeah, she's my seven, s- and she's been doing it since she was three. I wanted her to be wow. about. Her. She was not into it. I she understand. Was, <laughs> she, was, <laughs> she was cute in a tutu, but she was like, "If I get one more princess song, I'm gonna fight everybody." <laughs> and yes. Yeah. And she's like, I want to do that. We went to the post office and the the place next door was a Taekwondo place, but they Mm -hmm. were taught adults. Yes. Like um, the Taekwondo for us, um, where we're at actually was recommended by his school. So um, they're affiliated with the elementary school he went to. um, So last August is when he started. And now um, he went from white belt to uh, all the way up to yellow belt because I think they have it broken down to white with yellow stripes and then green stripes and blue stripe and he loves it um I didn't know he would love martial arts this much but um I should have known I was like man he's really good at it he got six gold medals so this taekwondo has three or four locations so they make them all compete together Mm -hmm. and uh he got about six gold medals and two silver medals and he just he just, it's natural to him. He has so much fun with it. You know what I love more than just the sport? It has taught her dedication. It has taught her responsibility. Yes. And she's so polite. Very. Yes. I agree with you a hundred percent. My son's demeanor and the way he um, holds himself, I can tell is much, much more uh, improved with the taekwondo um, not saying we didn't, you know, uh, raise him to be a fine young man, but it's of just that. It's just the amount of focus that he's have now and development he's having now just by being around the master and, and other peers. It's just really helping his growth and development. And she's so gentle with little one. Yes. <laughs> well, she wasn't before. I don't think it's that she meant to not be, but she was very like, you know, just excited. Yeah. I think. And right, she exactly. To slow down and be more gentle and help the other younger kids in the class. I think it's the most amazing thing to watch. Awesome. Yes. I mean, right now, he just now got the second level, which is yellow bell. So now he's allowed to spar with other yes. kids. So I know exactly what you mean. The little kids, he yes. doesn't spar or go as hard, but the kids about his size are bigger. He's he goes going hard. At- <laughs> yeah, it's like they nurture the other little kids and they correct their kicks and stuff while they're sparring. Yes. I, guess. I think it's the cutest thing ever. <laughs> I think martial arts is really good for the soul and it teaches them how to be good people. Yes, I do too. I, I 100% agree. Um, it helps really build that discipline. I love it. So talking about discipline, right? Running a business <laughs> takes yes. a lot of discipline and consistency. Correct. That's the number one thing. Um, a lot of people ask me, um, they's like, you know, Daryl, how are you doing? You know, do you like it? And some days it's frustrating and I want to quit, but I have to have that discipline to keep going because it's bigger than me now. Um, with my son being the face of the product of the brand, I can't just quit. Right. So I have to have that discipline day in and day out. Um, to keep going, Um, even on days where like I may go one or two days and just need a a social break, you know, from social media. And I'm like, well, if I take a break now, I got to do it twice as hard the next day. And, you know, it's discipline is not something easily uh, gained. But over time, if you can be patient with yourself, it can be achieved, you know. And um, I try to a good thing for me, I try to do a little at a time. If I take on too much, I notice that's when I get the most frustrated with myself. Mm -hmm. But if I have enough discipline to do like, you know, just a little here, a little there, a little here, a little there, then everything picks up and then it goes to plan just like how I really wanted it to do. What do you feel is Bubba's biggest hurdle right now? What is? I would say Bubba's biggest hurdle would have to be the notoriety. We don't have enough. Um, people that knows about it. 
um, the product definitely sells itself, but there's more people in the world that don't know about us versus that do know about us. Okay, so look, our jobs, Trades World Podcast, is I need for you guys. I'm going to post about this. I'm going to post a show. I need you to share it at least with 10 people. We all know 10 people. We all know 10 people with kids. We all know 10 women who don't want to sit on a public toilet. <laughs> so, <laughs> the call of action today is please, and I'm going to do a hard sell, please, even if you can't afford to buy it right now, and they cheap, trust me, very affordable. I need for you to share the word. This is a black business. I want to see it win. I want to see that little boy win. I want to see his daddy win. And I want to see his <laughs> mama have a new baby in the baby win. This is a, a product literally that fits in my purse. It is smaller than my cell phone, way smaller than my cell phone. It's like a pad. Mm-hmm. It's in, uh, yes, I still have a diaper bag in the back of my car, even though my daughter's seven. It's got some <laughs> wet nights. It's got a change of clothes for her and for me. Because if she eat ice cream or something, she's still going to get it on me. There you and go. And it's got my bubba potty protectors <laughs> in the diaper bag. And I, I really think that it's a product that we can all share and love and use. I had to get that out there really quickly. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what else is coming from, from Bubba? We got a new baby. Is there a new inspiration yes. that came along with the new baby? <laughs> um, I <laughs> so I must still keep that one in the vault. However, um, Bubba's Potty, we are working up on something where we're going to potentially start um, giving it uh, more options. What I mean by more options, we're going to try to uh, have it more of a eco-friendly, you know, great for the planet. We want to make sure that not only we protect you through the barrier, not only that we give you the adhesiveness, we want to make sure it can actually flush as well. So we want to give you all of the works um, with Bubba's Potty. So look out for that. We're going to definitely be um, working on getting uh, it eco-friendly, but then also we're going to try to maybe potentially get some clothing line going. We're going to get some stuff for the bathroom that it matches like Bubba's toothpaste or toothbrush. So we got a lot of things that we want to work on. So there's just some ideas I'm throwing out there, but we're going to definitely uh, hit some high notes here soon, real soon. That's amazing. So where else can they find um, your product? They can find it on the website. Right. Yes, you can find it on bubblespotty.com, but you can also find us on Amazon. So Amazon give us that worldwide presence if you're not obviously in Florida, uh, where we're currently located, but you can definitely get us um, on Amazon as well. And you have it drop ship within one or two days if you're a Prime member. <laughs> I know because I'm about to buy some more actually because of the baby shower that I'm supposed to go to, but COVID is picking back up. I'm probably not going to go up, but it's part um, of my gift. Awesome. Yes, they're going to love it. I promise you. <laughs> I know they will. And I know that you guys will love it too if you just give it a try. We're on right now, with Mr. Darrell from Bubba's Potty. Is there anything that nobody has asked you? that you want to get out there that they won't be able to find on the internet. Cause that's what Cherry's world podcast is about. Like I want to give you an interview that you can't just Google mm. and find out everything. So let's see. So let me make sure I'm understanding what you're saying or what you're asking. me. So you, right. you want to know what, what you want it... people to know that nobody has asked you yet. Hmm. About the product or about myself. Ooh, the product. The product. Um, What people don't know is that um, around the world, there's probably roughly 4 billion people without the proper sanitation for restrooms. And out of those 4 to 6 billion people around the world usually suffer from any kind of UTI. Uh, disease or any other disease that there is out there from public restrooms with just grabbing just one of these and using these once a day every day or how many times you use the restroom you're extremely cutting down the chance of you carrying any bacteria and there's four billion people around the world who don't even have access to this and that's where we trying to come in and fill that void i know we can't do it by ourselves but with all of you we can make this place a lot more safe and healthier. 
um, for everyone who don't have that privilege and opportunity to use something that's so easily obtainable for here, us in America, but all around the world. Oh, you see, you just gave me some game. I had never thought about that. Yeah. And what about you yourself? What do you want us to know about you? Hmm. Um, let's see. Something about me. Um that a lot of people don't know. Hmm. Well, hmm. that's a good one. Well, I guess I could say I have three brands. I'm part of Omega South by Fraternity Incorporated. So I have two on my shoulders and one on my chest. <laughs> oh, so you dedicated. You got a whole brotherhood going on, right? Yes. So is the brotherhood involved in Bubba's Pot? So it is just me solely, but um, our brotherhood is so strong. When one of us win, it feels like we all win, right? Um, there's nothing that separates us. Even though um, we all go out on our own separate adventures, we all support each other in everything we do, whether it's being a minister, to being a real estate agent, to being a law enforcement, to being a veterinarian. Um, Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated is a unity, is a, a really tight brotherhood um, and very loyal. Uh, if you have an Omega friend, trust me, we, we are there for you. If we call you a friend, you are a friend indeed. And mm -hmm. we make sure you get anything and everything you need. So you hear that, frat? Your boy's in the house. Make sure you go get them bubble parties. I'm just going to keep saying it over and over. <laughs> <laughs> so by the end of this, you know how you hear something so much? Yes. They'll, you'll just start repeating it and you'll be like, Bubba's parties. Like, what party? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So you're a family man, right? Yes. This whole business is based off of your family. You're having another baby. You yes. have a whole life. What is the key to having a successful relationship? I'm asking because there's a lot of people out here who are watching the show right now. Mm -hmm. COVID has done one or two things. It has separated us or it's brought us mm -hmm. a lot closer. And Black love mm -hmm. wants to win. Exactly. I agree with you so much. Um, I think the biggest thing for me and my wife, um, we met in college. Uh, so since 2010, we was best friends. And um, we didn't start dating each other until 2013. So um, even though we were friends first and kind of had that relationship established, it also helped us establish a respect level. Um, you know, we wanted to make sure we don't cross that line with each other, but then also to, we also threw our pride out the window. Um, cause as a man, I'm very prideful sometimes, but when it comes to my partner, I know I can be vulnerable with her. I know I can, um, tell her, Hey, I don't got this. I don't got that. And that's just me being mature enough to tell her that instead of, you know, uh, keeping stuff away from her, or trying to do everything on my own. Um, that's why God brought, you know, a wife down here with you. Um, so you can take on these challenges. And the biggest thing for us is the effective communication, not just communicating, but effectively communicating to each other. And that's where, you know, um, a lot of uh, people who inspired us that goes to our church um, they're all around our age, a little bit older than us, but not that much older. They are great role models and examples. So if I had to tell other married couples, like get around more married friends, because not saying that single friends aren't fun to hang around. They are. They, they're, they're fun. But but they're you're, not gonna feed your soul. <laughs> <laughs> right. And and you're leaving behind one of the most important friends of all. That's your wife or your spouse. So, you know, get more family or I'm sorry, more couples uh entertainment going on because if your couple gets invited to go with, you know, let's say couples want to have a night out or go to a cooking class or, you know, just doing stuff, you know, like watching movies together as a couples you know, that just really strengthens your bond um, with your uh, spouse. And um, just know when you're wrong, you're wrong. 
admit that you're wrong and then move on. Don't go to bed mad. <laughs> Even though you just know you're wrong, but you still want to prove a point. Trust me, proving a point ain't worth it. Um, right. Because that person is there to be your partner and help you, not hurt you. Apologies are some of the sexiest things Black men can give us. Yes. I know it's not always easy. It's not. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact you said that. See, I've asked people all night because I've had beautiful people on the show tonight and everybody's mm -hmm. in like a faithful, loving relationship, but they've all mm -hmm. been women. So you're my first man of the night. I appreciate oh, there you go. <laughs> so now I can cut you and the sisters all in together. There you go. We're talking about what we need to do because a lot of us are out there still trying to figure life out. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you. I appreciate that. And I love the fact. So are you on, they have like um all these black business pages now, right? Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. are you on those pages? So right now I'm not on that space as of yet. Um, but I will be working towards that. Um, right now, I'm hitting the ground running, getting a few other things put together. Um, and that's just, you know, right now I am uh, a little bit on the solo side as far as employee go, uh, you know, doing marketing, doing content, doing all kinds of other things. But we are getting ready to gear ourselves up to be on all the social media platforms as far as Black uh, Wall Street to my black products. Like there's so many. There's websites. so many. It's so many out there. So I'm definitely uh, eager to get that opportunity to be on their uh, website if given that opportunity. But um, yes, we are working towards that. Well, I will make sure when I write my blog, because it's coming, I will be <laughs> writing the blog and I will tag a whole bunch of them. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so that it's coming their way. Look, we got to help each other. You know what I noticed is as far as being an actress and I, I write books to him, an author, some of our mm -hmm. biggest supporters aren't our family. It's not who we thought it would be. It's strangers. Yes. Yes. They You're just, right. Yeah. They will support you in championing you harder than people that you've known for like 40 years. Mm hmm. And, you know, sometimes it's nothing maybe too malicious that the people we know so long that don't want to support us. It's just maybe they're taken back because you guys both maybe started at the same space, but, you know, you're taking another leap and bound and maybe they're trying to watch and see how well you transition because maybe they inspire to be like you. So maybe it's just not yet for them to support, but they are there in your corner for a reason. They're going to make sure at the end of the day to support. What a beautiful way to look at it. Thank you. Yeah, it's true. You have such a great spirit and a great light. Now I've heard you mention church. I've heard you talk about God. You obviously are a God-fearing man. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Um, I love the uh, church family we found here because we are originally from North Carolina. Uh, when we moved from North Carolina to Tampa, we didn't know anybody. <laughs> so um, when I worked at Mattress Firm, my boss, his name was uh, Tim, but he ended up becoming more than just my boss. He was definitely one of my good friends of mine and uh, his wife. Her father is the pastor. So um, it's called Bethel Outreach uh, here in Tampa, Florida, off of Bears, uh, a great ministry. Um, they took my family in uh, when nobody else would. Uh, like when we do Christmas, sometimes it's I know it's the smallest things, but it really made my day. They didn't have to give my son anything, but they got 12 grandkids. They made him number 13 and just really, you know, made sure they had his gifts set off to the side. Okay. So just to make him feel like that. And I'm not saying that, you know, all churches should do that, but it's just the personality that this church has. It really resonates with my family and they uh, practice what they preach. You know, um, they walk the walk and I appreciate them for doing that because that encourages me to want to keep sewing into their ministry. It's genuine. What part of North Carolina are you from? So I was born at Duke Hospital, um, so don't take that. <laughs> don't beat me up. I'm actually a Chapel Hill fan. So when I was born in Raleigh, um, I moved to Charlotte um, until I was 12. And then I ended up going to Statesville. So Statesville mm -hmm. is a small little town, about maybe 30, 35 minutes out. Um, and my father, that's where he had his business there. 
And um, my brother and my mother uh, lived in Charlotte as well. Um, I have a great relationship with them. Um, my brother, older brother, Greg, because I'm the baby in the family, my mom, Debbie, um, they just love me to tears and they did everything oh. for me. But um, my father, he just, he he put the exclamation point on my life um, and made me who I was today or who I am today. That is beautiful. My, so my family is from Whitesville. Really? Oh, yeah, wow. Like, like from North exactly. Carolina. A lot of them are Wakama Sayon. Some of them are Lumbee. Oh, wow. yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's, so, that's, that's why your heart world. is so sweet. <laughs> it's such a small world. I mean, yeah. I mean, my son, uh, he's he was born. I don't know if you know this little town, but me and my wife went to Western Carolina University. So my son was born in Silva. Yeah. And we're just right there in that little mountain area. And we love the mountain and the fresh air and the trees. But something about the beach in Tampa just brought us to it as well. So we still love North Carolina. You know, that's home too. But Tampa is definitely our second home. And where's your wife from? So believe it or not, she's military. Um, I don't like to use the term military brat. Her parents were military. So she was born in Germany. Um, so yes, but they had, a, I guess, an American base on that. So technically, even though she was born in Germany, they still say she's a U.S. citizen. So um, yes. when she came back to the States, um, that's where she was pretty much raised up in Fayetteville, North in Carolina. Fayetteville. Yeah. I already knew it before you said it. When you said that, I was like, oh, she's from Fayetteville. She's from Fayetteville. <laughs> she's from Fayetteville. <laughs> Or Vietnam, she's, as they Yeah, Vietnam. <laughs> yeah, she's a um, she graduated, I believe, seventy first. I hope you know that I said that right. Uh, she, uh, Falcons, I know, is their mascot. So yeah, she, her and her friends grew up together, and uh, she loved it there for her time being, and came to Western. That's where we met. Oh, that and it's been a love story ever since. Ever since. Now, me and her, we are so funny. Um, a lot of people knew we would be together before we knew because we love to have spiritual and great debates. And it's night. Like, we don't argue with each other. We just like debating with each other. Like we, we're two very intellectual people. So when you, you know, when you hear her talk and how she speaks, it's not that she's wrong. It's like, she just has a different point of view. And so do I. And I'm like, well, how do you get to that point of view without this? And then she's like, well, this is how I get to it. So how do you get to that with it? And it's just back and forth. And then um, I knew then, you know, as friends, we were really great friends. But um, once after I pledged Omega Psi Phi, three days later, I asked her to be my girlfriend. So um, we Aww. just haven't, we haven't separated ever since we met each other at Western back in 2010. That is so beautiful. I'm excited about you as a man. I'm excited about her. I'm excited about the family unit. I'm excited about this business and I'm super excited about these babies. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited too. Um, I just can't wait. I know um, this baby is going to definitely be the difference maker for our family and for the world. Uh, just the sweetness that she's going to bring or if it's a she. I'm hoping for a she. So. I heard it. I heard it. I was like, oh, yeah, girl. But I he blessed and happy with another boy. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm not yes. going to judge. I'm not going to care either way, but I am voting. I'm, I told everybody, you know, place their bets, but I'm I'm going for team girl. I'm, I already tried care. to name her after me, so I feel like, <laughs> then I was like, you know, go do that to that baby girl. <laughs> Look, we are going to stay close, okay? Okay. Because I got to know about this baby. When this baby come, yes, I, wanna be, I am I'm championing you. I'm proud of Thank you. So I much. love your product. Thank you so much. And that means a lot. It does. Cause you know, a lot of times, a lot of people see the good things that we do, what we post, but they don't see the hard days that we go through. And you go through a lot more hard days and long days than good days. So this um, really makes my day, makes my family's day um, that we can make you happy with the product that we put our hard work into. So before I let you go, I need you to do me a favor, two favors. Sure. One, can you tell everybody how to follow you on social media and your website? I'm also going to place it below. Sure. So you can follow us at Bubba's Potty Protection. Um, that's at B-U-B-B-A-S-P-O-T-T-Y-P-R-O-T-I-C-T-I-O-N. <laughs> Protection. <laughs> and then also to um, <clears throat> our website is Bubba's Potty.com. 
And then um, you can find us on Amazon as well as Bubbles Potty. If you need us, we're here. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I want to see you win. Congratulations. Thank you. And you already did. I, I really believe that. I think you just made me win. I'm the biggest winner tonight. Thank uh, you, so you are. North Carolina <laughs> boy. We family. <laughs> Thank you. Turn across the world. Welcome to Cherry's World. Turn across the world. Welcome to Cherry's World.